Hey ladies and gentlemen, Simon here with another episode of Steins Gate and uh, yeah it's been a couple of weeks since I last was able to watch an episode, I do apologise for that, um, schedule's been busy, I've been a little bit sick and um, something's just got in the way and some shows I just was not able to watch. Um, but we are getting very close to the end of this season, um, the story's definitely picked up pace and you know even in the last episode as we were exploring the last email that they had to reverse which was Moika's it kind of got off to a, a really dark start. He he um he discovered that Moika had killed herself. Um, later discovering the reason that she killed herself is because her contact FB had stopped messaging her. You know she has this crazy devotion to this character who had been given her orders for for many years and recruited her into this agency and. The moment that they stopped messaging her, she just went into a very, very dark place and obviously ended it all. Um, thankfully, um, Akabe was able to jump back in time and try and talk to her. I say talk to her. It was more like a screaming match for about 10 minutes where she was screaming, give me my phone back. Um, and even some weird tactics, including Okabe kissing her to make it look like they were just having wild sex in the, in the open um when a neighbor kind of peeked in on them it was a very unusual kind of contest between the two um but he managed to get the phone and you know he managed to talk her down he managed to basically convince her that you know whoever this was um you know it was it was a case of they don't care about you that they're not really invested in you um, and then when he told her that she was going to kill herself, you know, it was, I, I think something registered her. Um, he managed to find the text about the IBN uh, 5100. Um, he sent one text, didn't change anything. Um, that was originally about the phone. That's what he thought it was. He thought the text was about her changing phone, but it was actually a cover message. Um, and he realized it was actually about the location. And so... Um, yeah, he needed basically to send an email from her phone to convince her past self to follow the instructions. Um, and instead, she just told him. She told him where, where the IBM was being kept. And that's kind of where we left off. Um, there is still this kind of race against time to save... Um, um, why have I forgotten? Mayori. Mayori. To save Mayori. I don't know why I've forgotten the name. Again, a couple, it's been a couple of weeks, so names kind of jumble around. And, and, you know, I'm watching so many shows, it gets a bit confusing at times. Um, but yeah, he's still trying to save Mayori from this repeated death that she's going through. And no matter where she goes or what situation she ends up in, she still dies. So that's where we are. Um, so we're going to jump into this. Before we do, I want to say a big thank you to my Patreon super supporters. Frank Tremel, The Lone Detective, Karen Abel, Raccoon Shampoo, Ford Otaku and Ace. And yeah, we're going to jump into this. Crowbar, explain later. No, not later, right now. <laughs> so she stashed a super rare computer in some coin locker? That's what she told me, and somehow nobody's come for it yet. Huh. She didn't have the key. It's obvious, isn't it? I'm gonna pry the coin locker open. And to do that, mm. you have to do things in order. No cutting corners. Ah, uh, he's gotta go get the phone. She's handing it off, of course. Mm hmm So if they can find who the contact is. Wouldn't she have been able to do that, though? Although she said she didn't want to meet FB. Which is interesting. I'm not sure. Anything I'm not. I like the dub, but sometimes it's way too quiet. The audio levels are up and down like crazy. Fine. I guess a little company won't kill me. Uh oh. A little company won't kill me? This is the girl who killed. Mayuri. Fine, honey. It just feels like Ogreen and I haven't talked very much in a long time. He's trying to save your life. Don't blame him. Hey, Mayuri. Nice. Do do do. 
There's another dude to do, girl. Oh yeah, she's the daughter of him. She does do to do as well. She's a sweet girl. Oh. Perusing old messages from FB. Sitting on separate benches. Try not to put yourself down. Having a social phobia is nothing to be ashamed of. Oh, so she actually spoke to her. In fact, I think it's part of what makes you such a unique person, would you agree? Hmm, she seems pretty sweet. Oh. Has he been there like a whole day? That's it. On the dollar. The IBM 5100. I'd be willing to bet that that's just a middleman. FB? No. FB's a woman. I'm sure of it. They're just handing it off. Diluting the, the trail. Yeah, that's... Follow him. Uh oh. Oh no. They got fooled. Yeah, he's gonna have to go back and do it again. This is that. Oh, there's so many people. Just how complex is this network of couriers? It's going onto a truck. That looks like his truck. The guy from downstairs. It is. Oh shit. I said he was in on this originally. That's Mr. Braun. I said he was in on this somehow. Why else would he have a TV that activated the D-mail system? Narita Airport. I've been to Narita Airport many years ago. And it's on a plane bound for France. My Yuri does. Mm hmm. Strange how it feels. Like we haven't really talked for a while now. Yeah, he's been stuck in this loop for a long time. I'm sorry. Sorry, buddy. We're leaving. Huh? Are they going to France? Confrontation time. Wait, hold oh. on. Confront who? Mr. Braun? Meeting with FB, that's all we ask of you. Please, I'm willing to bet he maybe doesn't know. Couldn't keep your trap shut, huh? Oh no. <gasps> that was the secret code. That's FB. He's FB. Nobody else knew about it, just me. F B. Ferdinand Braun, of course. Okay. That makes sense. Nope. Let's take this someplace else. Nice sleeper. So he ordered Mayuri's death. Can't believe that you're nothing more than a CERN dog. Woof woof. Huh. Damn it, Mr. Braun. Susa would What is that? This. Your actual she name. Her door to you. This is how you honor her memory. Yeah. Susa was working with him. Shut up. You don't get to shame me. And he knew her when she was older and he was younger. You has nothing to do with Suzuha. Yes, it does. What do you know, you caught a little shit? Whoa. Cutting yourself loose just isn't a choice. That's when your old pal FB is there for you. <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> so she's fated. She's fated to die that day. Not just Maori now. But I failed. Failure gets punished. If I try to skip town, though, then they'll, they'll kill her. come for his daughter. That's how they've got a hold of him. There's only one way out. One way that guarantees they'll leave Nye alone. <gasps> no. Only thing I gotta do is die. Where? Oh, shit. Oh, poor girl. Uh, 
He just killed himself. That's his only lead as well. He's gonna have to go back in time. Oh, <gasps> she's alive! You can put M4 on. Oh shit, we're moving up again. Is this, this is back in the moment that she stopped getting messages. They've got it back. But he needs to make sure that Mr. Braun doesn't find out. Are we all the way back here? Holy crap. Hear my request, Odaru. <laughs> He's going back to ask him not to go. There's some hoodoo I gotta do before I can delete stuff, but we should be good to go in ten. I have every faith in your abilities, hack. It's hacker, dude. It seems like we're back to what was the, the old days. The D mail, I mean. Oh, doing the D mails will return us to the original world line. Uh-huh. A world line in which CERN's tyranny is never allowed to take root. But to keep my Yuri alive, to return they to have the to. Oh. Of Reza, Kurisu, she dies. Must die. Yeah, he's got to choose. Yeah, call back to episode two, I think it was. Or it was either episode one or two. Where he discovered Makise dead before he knew her, before any of this happened. And it was only through his D mail that he changed the world line and she was alive. But that set an event, the. That set in motion the events that we've seen ever since then. Um, so he's got to make a choice between Maori and Makise. I'm not sure if there's a third option. I'm not sure if he can avoid both. Unless he somehow has to get it to that number one on the divergence meter. Um, man, so this episode, so I knew that Mr. Braun, I said it way back. I can't remember what episode it was. It was like when we, it was like a few episodes after we first met Mr. Braun. And I was like, what if he's in on it? What if he's like spying or something? Because it seemed too convenient that one, he put up with so much shit from Okabe. Most landlords would have just been like, you're out, you're done, get gone. Um, two, what were the chances of his the, the TV downstairs being the conduit for the D-mail system being able to work? You know, that seems to me that like that was too coincidental. Um, and then Suzaha working for him was another thing I was kind of like, hmm, wouldn't it be ironic if... He was involved in all this and she's been working with him all this time. So he was FB. And yeah, he's a pretty interesting character. He obviously is cold and harsh, but also loving to his daughter. He'll do whatever is necessary to keep his daughter safe, which is dangerous um, in the wrong hands. God, that's, that's a twist and a half. Um... Yeah, we've worked our way all the way around into a circle um, where we are essentially back at square one. But Okabe has got knowledge and that's a big advantage for him because he now can decide what's going to happen from here. But again, it's a risk. If he tries to change the timeline again, Sand could well get back into power. Um... Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Oh, there's so much that could go wrong. There's so much that could go right. But I can't see the third option where one of them doesn't die. You know? We've now seen the three female characters all get killed. Makise, Moika, and Mayori. The three M's. The, the mortal M's. Um, they all died at some point during the show. And now they're all alive again. It's crazy. Um... But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you for the next one.